How about it, y'all? You got hog. Thanks for stopping by. Well, let's talk about the Diablo 4 open beta and let's give you a little guide on what to expect if you pre ordered versus if you didn't pre order and kind of just what it all entails. <laughs> Uh, so before I get into it, big shout out to my Patreons, Eros, Ava, and Andes. Thank you all so much. If you want to be cool like those guys, there's a link in my description. Go over to the Patreon, be a supporter. That'd be awesome. Help us grow into Diablo 4. Anyway, on to the good stuff. So the open beta dates and the platforms that it will be available on. Okay, we're looking at PC, Xbox S, Series S, and Xbox One, the old dinosaur. And then uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Nintendo Switch, I don't have anything for you at this moment. Looks like, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to play the beta. Um, Pre-purchase early access dates. So there's two tiers. If you pre-purchase the game, you get to play early. So that'll be March 17th at noon Eastern time to March 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, versus general access. So if you didn't pre-order, um, you get to play March 24th, starting at noon Eastern time, going to March 27th starting at or ending at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we go by Eastern time because I'm on the East Coast. I believe it's uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time is when they start and noon is when they end Pacific time. All right, so what you're going to be able to do there is do a early game playthrough. Okay, so the closed beta, the invite-only beta for Diablo 4, that was uh, end game, okay, end game, as they say. Um, so this is going to be early game. So completely different. You're going to be able to play the campaign. That's what it is. It's an open world campaign with missions and stuff. Okay. Prologue and act one. Uh, the first zone is called the fractured peak or fractured peaks. That's what we're going to be able to explore. Um, and you can level to level 25. Once you hit 25, you can continue playing with that character but you're not gonna get any more levels, any more XP, anything like that. You're gonna be capped at 25. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend. Utilize all of this time in the beta to play every class available to you. So as soon as you hit 25 with one character, go make a new character, hit 25, learn all about it, then make the final character, and so on and so on, okay? You're gonna be able to complete quests from people in town. You're gonna be able to clear demonic hordes out of the dungeons and you're gonna be able to collect and craft loot. The classes that you're gonna be able to play are gonna vary based on the weekend. So the early access, you're only gonna be able to play three classes. That's Barbarian, Rogue, and Sorcerer. So those are the three, you're gonna to have to make a decision. That's why I said on the last slide, um, play one to 25, then play the next one, then play the third one. So you'll have a chance the first weekend to play all three, and then the second weekend, You'll have the addition on top of those three plus Necro and Druid. So on the second weekend, you'll be able to play all five classes, which in my opinion, you know, it's a little silly. The early access people should be able to play all five, but it is what it is. Um, you would be able to play 10 tunes. So 10 characters, all you can have on your account per account. So, um, and the big heartbreaker, I know everyone's going to complain, but it's only fair. Uh, your character will be deleted once the beta ends. So everything that you do during the beta will be reset and start fresh, and that's only fair for everybody. Um, you know, and I know some of y'all are going to say, well, they should have played the beta. It's a beta. So things are subject to change, and it might not be viable what you did during the beta. Now, the multiplayer, a lot of people have questions. This is really cool. I hadn't heard a lot about it until now. Consoles will have a couch co-op feature wow i mean when was the last time we had a game and i know a lot of y'all in the comments are fixing to start spamming a lot of titles about couch co-op games and that's great i hope you do that but seriously think about it when was the last time we really had a couch co-op game that's pretty cool that's kind of a feature that we saw like i saw growing up that they kind of phased out game developers did so that's really neat a catch with this is only one person is required to actually have the beta so they can link in another person as long as your uh, Blizzard and your console accounts are linked together. Um, regular players, so PC players or anybody else, uh, you can create a party of four people. It's kind of disappointing. I wish you could have six to eight people. Um, 
but you can interact with other people in the world that are not in your party. So if you kill demons with people that are not in your party, you get 5% XP bonus. And if you're killing things with people in your party, you get 10% XP bonus. So um, I guess theoretically you could run with a group of six people and not be in a party and maybe get 15% XP bonus. I know my math doesn't really work because that's at good old Georgia public schools, but um, you get what I'm trying to portray to you. All right, so you do get some rewards for playing the open beta. Everybody likes cosmetics, everybody likes titles, everybody likes rewards, whatever. Uh, you get three open beta rewards. Uh, initial casualty title is one of them. It's earned by reaching Kovashad with one character. And I'm assuming that Kovashad is going to be the second zone that we reach. Um, another one is early Voyager title. And that's earned by reaching level 20 with one character. And uh, beta wolf pack cosmetic item. That's what you see in the background there. That little, uh, I guess it's a little basket for a baby wolf. Okay. Uh, that's earned by reaching level 20 on one character. So make sure you knock those out. That'll, obviously, it will be real easy to get those completed. Um, but those are some cool Diablo 4 cosmetics for the open beta um, that you can carry on into the game. Now, you will actually get these rewards once Diablo 4 is launched and you get into the game. They'll be, ava they'll be available for you. All right, it's a big question everybody had. Um, let me move myself out of the way here a little bit. There we go. The system requirements. Uh, it's not really that taxing. Good news. Um, the minimum requirements, you're going to need 8 gigs of RAM and a mediocre graphics card. Uh, you will need at least Windows 10, and you'll need a solid-state drive. Uh, I learned that lesson the hard way trying to play Harry Potter on a HDD. Couldn't load. Was just brutal. Switched to an SD, uh, SSD. And it was night and day difference. So if you're still running kind of two or three year old gear, it's got a HDD time to upgrade. Um, the recommendations are 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 970. So huge relief. I'm running a 2060 still. And I was kind of concerned I was going to have to go upgrade. And yeah, I don't want to do that right now. Um, so if you have a lesser computer than the minimum requirements, it will attempt to run the game. Um, but it might be a poor experience. So it's just letting you know right there that asterisk, it will try its hardest with integrated graphics and stuff like that to get you on the game. So that's good. They're not making a super crazy uh, game that's demanding on your system. You know, the people are just going to have to go buy a new PC because I know a lot of guys in my community were worried about their computer being able to handle it. And it looks like uh, most computers should be able to handle this. It's not too taxing. Yeah, guys, that's all we got right now from Blizzard on it. Uh, there will be some updates uh, come closer to the beta, I imagine. Um, but for now, all you can do is sit and wait or join our community. So if you're looking for a cool Diablo community, right now we're real hard in D3 because it's, you know, obviously the season 28 is going on. Uh, but we do have a lot of Diablo 4 guys that are just sitting here waiting. Um, so go to the link in my description. That's for the House of Hog, my Discord server. Click on that, join us. We have a separate separate section for Diablo 4 for you there. Um, you, make sure to hit like and subscribe for my Diablo 4 content. And uh, do me a favor, head over to our cool website, wasted666.com. I'm a content creator over there, kind of contributing to Diablo 4. And uh, that will be a good space for you to find Diablo 4 content, build guides, um, videos, stuff like that. So wasted666.com and support us over there. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more Diablo 4 content. We're going to have a lot coming your way for the beta. We're going to be live streaming. We're going to be making guides. We're going to be getting you prepped for Diablo 4, doing everything we possibly can to be ready for the June 6th launch. So again, thank you all very much. See you next time.